They call it the Asus Republic of Gamer XG Mobile, an RTX 3080 mobile GPU hooked up to the Asus Rogue Flow X13, a 13 inch on the go, fantastic thin and light laptop that I've actually done a full dedicated review and unboxing of. You can check that out in the YouTube cards above. But this video is focusing on the performance increase and usability of the XG Mobile. Is it beneficial to add this RTX 3080 to this laptop? The X13 currently, as far as I know, is the only laptop that can be used with the XG Mobile because of the specific adapter that it comes with. Will they expand to more laptops? I'm not sure, we'll have to see in the future. But first and foremost, let's look at the usability and then we'll talk about the performance differences between using the X13 by itself and using it with the XG Mobile. Right off the bat, the XG Mobile powers the X13. So you free up more ports and you actually have ports on the XG Mobile. So you have an SD card slot, you have four USB type A's, an HDMI, a full display port, and a network port on the XG Mobile which is fantastic. This thing vents very well, it runs cool. It gets a little noisy as you're really pushing it in like 3D modeling, playback, and then some After Effects rendering. It ran at about 45 to 50 decibels depending on the tasks during the benchmark tests. Regarding the thermals in the XG Mobile, I'm unable to get an internal read within the Asus Command Center. So what I did is I picked up an infrared thermometer and I scanned the X13 surface temperature running 3D modeling, which was about 45 degrees Celsius. I then scanned the XG Mobile surface temperature, which was at about 42 to 44 degrees Celsius. Now the internal temperature of the X13 when running 3D modeling is about 73 degrees Celsius on the GPU. Now, I also scanned at the exhaust port of the XG Mobile and got about 52 to 55 degrees Celsius. So I am guessing, with an educated guess of these different tests, about a 70 to 73 degrees Celsius GPU temperature internally. Now, one thing I'll point out right off the bat that I'm not fond of it is there's no stand for it. So you have to kind of like balance it to make sure it doesn't fall or you lay it like right on its back so the vents are still facing out and upward. I wish it had a little bit of a stand so you kind of show it off like this. You know, it's got this really cool lighting inside of it. So I kind of wish it came with a little stand that it could like lean up upon. But other than that, it's a great little unit. I mean, it's insane how much power can be packed into such a small package. When you think about these two going together in a small laptop, that is really, really good on the go workstation. And this laptop gets excellent battery life. So if you're on a long flight or a train ride or you know, you're a passenger in a car, you can get all your productivity tasks done. And this laptop comes with an RTX 3050 Ti, or if you get the 1650 version, that's still pretty good. But the model I have is the 3050 Ti. And then you go ahead and when you get where you're going, you plug your laptop in, you run your renders or your export or whatever you wanna do and it just rocket fast. So this is an awesome combination. And if you're curious about the pricing of this combo, you can head down in the description below and click that link. Now, if you do make a purchase with that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. That's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now it is a plastic build, so there's no metal on it, but it's sturdy, it's a good, strong plastic. It doesn't sound hollow and cheap. It's really nice. I do wish it was aluminum, but aluminum would cause it to heat up more, which would then cause you to have to produce more fan to cool this unit. So they made a good choice of that plastic in my opinion, and it's got nice rounded edges. It's put together very well. Now, if you have further questions about the XG Mobile, I will do a follow-up video with the questions that you guys might have. So go ahead and comment below and I'll try to answer those questions to the best of my abilities. For now, let's jump into the head-to-head -head performance versus the X13 alone and the XG Mobile combined. First and foremost, an odd test you might think, but let's go ahead and look at Cinebench R20 and R23. The reason is I wanna see if this external GPU pulls anything away from the CPU to allow the CPU to increase in performance. And as you can see, when combined with the XG Mobile, it pulls a little bit of computing power away from the CPU to allow it to get better performance in Cinebench R20 and only slightly more in Cinebench R23. But we did see a benefit by having the XG Mobile connected even for those two Cinebench tests. Now moving on to 3D modeling, it isn't even close. It beats it out by almost 100 full points in Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo about 76 points, and then SolidWorks about 22 points. So having the XG Mobile really gives you a big punch in performance above having the laptop by itself. Now moving on to Puget Systems After Effects benchmark, it does increase the After Effects standard benchmark by about 50 points, but really where we see that big benefit, of course, is in the After Effects render. So we're seeing a massive uptick by over 300 points by adding the XG Mobile. And the XG Mobile 
actually beat out every laptop I've had on my channel thus far by over 150 points. So this little unit really packs a punch and makes a great on-the-go workstation when combined with these two. Now, what I would do personally if I were you is I would not only have this, but I would also have like a little external monitor for like my on-the-go battle station. So I would have this because this is a 13-inch. I might have a little 15-inch when I get to wherever I'm going, you know, pull out a little thin and light. Asus makes a nice thin and light 13-inch monitor. So you can have two monitors, massive performance. I mean, you could just have this battle station on the go, which would just be incredible. And I'll link the screen that I'm talking about, that external on the go monitor, so you can check that out as well. Now, next thing we're gonna look at is export times from 1080p all the way up to 6K. You actually see very little benefit by having the XG connected. Now for playback, 4K was at zero drop frames as expected, but then as we moved into B-RAW, we didn't see a whole lot of benefit from the XG mobile. Now, if you know a setting I might be missing in order to really let this thing pump full performance into Premiere Pro, definitely comment below and let me know. But I tried it multiple times in multiple different ways and I just couldn't get that performance to really kick in and give us less drop frames. Now regarding DaVinci Resolve, the XG Mobile really helped for that 4K export and we saw smooth playback in DaVinci Resolve. So this is definitely a benefit to DaVinci Resolve users because DaVinci really focuses on GPU optimization and we're seeing that on the export time. Now, one test I had a feeling would not be affected by the external GPU was Photoshop, and I was right. It barely had any difference, being that Photoshop really does not utilize GPU for running the program. Like I said, comment below if you have any questions regarding the XG Mobile. I'm happy to make another video to answer those. Otherwise, links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.